happy people it's Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a 9x12 process video and this is actually going to be a 9x12 plus a um, 8x12 yes 8x12 set of photos of um, I'm still working on photos from when we did Joe's 13th birthday photos in Cade's Cove I have um, two sets to go. One is a set like this of Finn and then another set like this of Karsten. And I decided that I wanted a sort of rainbow stripe using the um, little dude collection. Sorry, it's been a while. <laughs> a little dude collection from Simple Stories that I designed for Finn. So I always love to use it for Finn. And I want sort of a rainbow of photos um, for this Page. I'm going to put them diagonally across the page and so I've cut them all to two inches and I lay them out here in the order that I like but I decide that there's they're too long so I'm gonna go back or not long they're too wide and I'm gonna go back and cut them down to one inch instead or maybe an inch and a half maybe they're an inch and a half now and I cut them down to an inch something like that <laughs> one of these things so that's a little bit more tedious. Yeah, they were an inch and a half and now they're an inch. That's a little bit more tedious. So I cut it out and <laughs> glued them down diagonally across the page. And that's where we're starting here. So I have two different sizes of the same photo and I decided to go with the smaller one. I'm finding that this smaller size works much better on these nine by 12s than a full four by six. So that's probably probably done testing out the larger four by sixes now and I'm just gonna go with these photos I often 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 get asked what size these photos are so I'm gonna start saying it in my videos so if you get tired of hearing it every time just know that it saves me having to answer it in the comments 30 times <laughs> so I print my four by sixes at three inches tall by four and a half inches wide it is still a four by six dimension photo it is just um, I just resize the height to three inches and that comes out to four and a half inches when I work with three by four photos that I cut down um, those are three inches tall by two and a quarter inches wide which is exactly half the width of the um, four by six so that is the size that these are and that is probably the size that I'm going to go with from now on instead of printing out two now that I'm more comfortable with the 9 by 12 page size so I've got this double matted now in both that cute black and white gingham and also the green I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more on that rainbowy set of paper I have a bunch of these DIY your scraps clusters that I made in a video so I'm kind of going through those seeing if there's anything I want to use and I actually um, struggle just a little bit with this design for a few minutes and I go through a lot of iterations of these embellishments that I don't necessarily like before I decide what exactly it is that I want to do so I'm gonna end up putting down this dude but I don't put it here <laughs> I put it there initially I wanted initially for it to say dude you rock the problem I was having was that I didn't have a direction for this um, this page yet it was basically just a cute set of photos of Finn but it wasn't his birthday yet and they were just um, byproduct of being out there to take pictures for um, Joe's birthday so I didn't really have a story to tell yet so that is why this page is sort of floundering at the mo moment. So I have hello dude. <laughs> and then I'm just uh, like none of this is working for me. And I don't know what orientation I want these to go in or anything. So I'm going to go through all of these um, embellishments and pull out things that I may use like I always do. I think, well, maybe I'll do these dinosaurs, but no, that's not working. And then I put, start putting these word strips down diagonally with the paper. And that sort of signals or, or makes me think, okay, wait, I like this. This is working. So I want everything to go at an angle with the 
paper strips in the background and have the photo um, be the only horizontal thing on here. And so I've got these arrows and these paper strips, or these journaling strips and these um, word bits down diagonally. So I'm sort of going with that feel now and I'm trying to work in this banner, but that doesn't work for me. Still making clusters over here, but they're not quite right. And I'm not sure why. I'm thinking it maybe it's because of the circular nature of everything. Maybe that's why it's not working. I, I was really wanting it to say, hello, dude, you are so rad. But I skip ahead and I instead write up a bunch of journaling. Um, and I feel like I need to have the journaling here. And then I can m finalize my decision about how I want this to look. So um, I let the crazy cool kid embellishment um, sort of lead my journaling. So the journaling becomes about how he is so kind, he's crazy cool, um, super empathetic, that sort of a thing. And so now that I have that sort of direction with how I want this journaling to um, lead, the, lead the page, then I can start finalizing everything. So now I've got the photo and the journaling down and I'm added the journaling on that orange to bring in some more color. And I put, start putting down the things that I know I want, like the things that I know their placement. So I'm putting down these journaling strips and the word strips on top of them. I'm not using the journaling strips for journaling. They're just sort of creating white space for those um, word strips to rest on. And then the arrows pointing toward the photo. Okay, I'm liking that. And I'm gonna put this crazy cool kid down. And now I'm feeling like, okay, there's, I need to finish this off, but what exactly do I add here? So I'm just gonna add a buttload of stars. And I'm gonna start clustering them around the three cluster areas that I've created. Trying to make sure that the, um, the colors of the stars are nice and well distributed. And they create just enough, I like to call it confetti weight. They create just enough visual weight, but it's like splattered all over the page like confetti to make me feel like this page is well balanced once they're down. Still adding them. <laughs> I had to sort them out into color order because that's just how I roll. I had to see what colors I had available to me and how many of each color before I could really make a decision. And I love the way that the confetti nature of them sort of breaks up that diagonal line. So I've got these all glued down now. I'm still trying to figure out if I need something up here to sort of weight the, um, the top and bottom of this. And I'm putting these here, but I don't actually think that I like them very much. And yeah, no. <laughs> so what else can I add here? Feeling like there's a lot of open space at the top and the bottom. So I'm thinking, okay, I have a half circle up there and the strips sort of imitate that diagonal strip nature. So what if I put some circles down here? I've used all the circles on the sticker sheet. No, that's not really working for me either. I don't really want to add more words. So I just leave it as it is and I feel like I'll come back to it, but I actually don't. Once I have this side done, I'm like, okay, nope, that all looks perfect and well put together without me adding anything else to that nine by 12 page. So this is four vertical four by sixes and it's a cut down page protector from American Crafts. It's ancient, um, but I cut down a 12 by 12 page protector to have four instead of six. So I have this boys are just superheroes in disguise. And then I have three of similar photos of Finn. Um, they're all taken at the same point in time. So I'm just kind of scrapping them with some word art and calling it good. They don't need any additional um, words put to them. 
using a lot of my DIY your scraps clusters trying to knock down my stash of those and then I also have these work are these pa pattern strips left over from cutting off the excess on the ones on the other side so I decided I'm going to add them to the bottom corner of this photo and I made sure to do them in the opposite direction of the ones on the 9 by 12 page so that they would create some contrast. I'm just going to put them all down, freehanding it. Then I'm just going to cut off the edges. And I'll use that part of the card to add a little bit of embellishment. And then I'll call this whole thing done. And you'll see the um, stills coming up so that you can see how they work together. Adorable you, you are so rad. Love you to the moon. All great sort of sentiments for my now eight-year-old boy. I love this collection and I love how well it reflects him. And I, he was standing here watching me do this talking about how it was his collection. <laughs> but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. And if you don't already, go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I am at Tracy M. Reed, and I would love to be friends there. All right, thank you.